Greetings, Heroes of Dominion. Here is Zeus with another electrifying video guide about Orion. Recently, Orion received a significant upgrade through his ascension skill, making him stronger and enhancing his overall performance in the game. This new ascension skill not only boosts Orion's power but also opens up new synergies and possible combinations with other heroes. Now, Orion can be utilized in various strategic ways. Let's dive into the details about Orion. Orion's most important artifact is the DD901 Arsenal. This artifact gets activated when Orion uses his skill, Total Destruction. At maximum development, this artifact grants 50,000 magic penetration to the entire team. I emphasize this artifact because even if your Orion is not fully developed, having his artifact at level 100 will still provide significant support to other magic damage dealers in your team, enabling them to maximize their magic damage output. This ascension skill upgrade and the DD901 arsenal artifact make Orion a crucial asset in many team compositions. Let's explore how you can best utilize Orion and the new possibilities this brings to your battles in Hero Wars. Orion's skill, Total Destruction, fires 6 magic missiles at the enemies with the highest health, dealing 62,000 damage each. His ascension skill, Tactical Destruction, adds a new layer of power. Whenever an enemy is stunned or slowed, they receive a mark. When Orion uses Total Destruction, he launches an additional missile at each marked target, dealing 42,000 damage. This new ascension skill brings two significant benefits. First, Orion now synergizes with all heroes capable of stunning enemies. Some of these heroes include Arachne, Faceless, Lara Croft, Aurora, Ishmael, Cleaver, Jury, Lilith, Kark, Phobos, Anvari, Fafnir, Polaris, Daredevil, Fox, Lars, Luther, Astrid, and Lucas, and Pepe. The synergy means that when these heroes stun enemies, Orion will fire additional missiles. Secondly, Orion's synergy extends to heroes who can slow enemies, such as Judge, Polaris, Pepe, Chaba, Dark Star, and the King Biscuit Pet. The slow effect is particularly advantageous since it can only be countered by Sebastian, while Chorus cannot counter it. This makes the slow effect more reliable for ensuring Orion's additional missile launch. These additional missiles from the Ascension skill, while not as powerful as the initial six, still add significant damage. To maximize Orion's damage, it's advisable to place Nebula in front of him. Nebula boosts Orion's magic attack stat by 174,000, which increases the damage of his missiles. With Nebula's support, each of Orion's first six missiles deals 140,000 damage, and the missiles from Tactical Destruction deal 109,000 damage. This results in a total potential damage of over 1.4 million within the first 20 seconds of battle. To further boost Orion's damage, you can use the magic attack pattern, Polaris and the Merlin pet in battle. The magic attack pattern can increase damage by up to 16%, and Merlin can double Orion's damage output. Polaris can boost damage by 140% against frozen enemies. This means Orion can deal over 700,000 damage to frontline heroes, especially since Merlin and Polaris's frozen effects are typically limited to the tank hero. In practice, this results in each missile dealing around 700,000 damage. With the Ascension skill, there have been changes to Orion's other abilities as well. While his magnetic field skill did not receive an Ascension upgrade, its damage power has been modified. Magnetic Field creates an explosion in the backline of the enemy team, dealing 50,000 damage over an area and slowing enemies for 4 seconds. This slow effect triggers Orion's tactical destruction, causing him to launch additional missiles at the backline heroes. The damage from this skill can also be enhanced by Nebula, and the magic pattern on the war flag. 
Orion's antimatter blast is a skill that did receive an ascension upgrade. This skill fires a magic missile at the nearest enemy, stunning them for 4 seconds and dealing 106,642 damage. The ascension upgrade, antimatter chain, makes the missile bounce to the two nearest enemies, dealing 53,321 damage and stunning them for 1 second. During testing, antimatter blast proved to be surprisingly powerful. When combined with Polaris's freezing effect, Merlin's ultimate, and Nebula's support, this skill dealt over 700,000 damage. Since Antimatter Blast targets frontline heroes, the synergy with Polaris, Merlin, and Nebula creates a high damage output. The Ascension upgrade allows this skill to stun three heroes in total, triggering Orion to launch three additional missiles at the enemy. With these skills and the right support, Orion can easily deal millions of damage in a very short amount of time. Orion's skill, Full Charge, is a passive ability that grants him additional energy with each attack. With every second attack, Orion gains enough energy to activate his ultimate skill, Total Destruction. Typically, this means Orion can use his ultimate every 10 seconds. Activating his ultimate also triggers his artifact, DD-901 Arsenal, which provides the entire team with magic penetration. Orion already has his own magic penetration, so he doesn't need additional support in this area. What he needs is an increase in his magic attack. With his ascension skills, he also benefits greatly from heroes who can stun or slow enemies. This combination makes Orion a real powerhouse on the battlefield. Pets that can patronage Orion include Merlin, Mara, Axel, Biscuit, and Chorus. With the changes to Orion's cooldown periods, he no longer needs Merlin to speed up his skills, as they are now faster after the upgrade. Mara is a good choice for Orion as she increases the duration of stuns and slows caused by his skills. However, if you're playing with Arachne or other heroes who can apply these negative effects, it might be better to patronage Mara to those heroes since Orion will be the main damage dealer. Biscuit is also a good pet for Orion, especially in Clash of Worlds City Hall battles, where Biscuit can help reduce enemy healing. The best pets to use with Orion are Chorus and Axel. Both pets provide additional magic attack and armor to Orion. Axel ensures that Orion cannot be killed with a single shot by preventing any single attack from dealing more than 45% damage. On the other hand, if Orion is patronaged by Chorus, he gains a protective shield that protects him and allies in front and behind. 50% of the damage Orion deals converts to this shield, with a maximum capacity of 100,000. Given Orion's high damage output, his shield is always at max capacity, adding another layer of protection. Ultimately, the best pets for Orion are Axel and Chorus, but depending on the situation, Mara and Biscuit can also be crucial. Here are some of the best team compositions for Orion. My most preferred team composition includes Aurora with Kane pet patronage, Nebula without a pet, Orion with Axel or Chorus pet patronage, Helios with Biscuit or Chorus pet patronage, and the fifth hero depending on the enemy. If you are fighting Rufus, then Jet should be the fifth hero. If you want to add additional effects to the battle, Polaris would be the fifth hero. If the battle requires healing, Dorian should be the fifth hero. This team composition deals a lot of damage, with Nebula placed between Aurora, and Orion to create high synergy, enhancing the damage output of these two heroes. Helios, with Biscuit Pet Patronage, can further support this team. Another effective team composition features Judge Patronaged by Mara, Nebula Patronaged by Kane, Orion with Axel, Aiden with Chorus, and the fifth hero depending on the enemy team. In most cases, Polaris creates high synergy with Judge and Orion. If fighting Rufus, Jet can be the fifth hero. When fighting Amira, Thea can be the fifth hero to add a layer of magic defense. This team focuses on Orion's synergy to slow enemies, enabling Orion to launch more missiles. 
Judge can slow all five enemy heroes, resulting in Orion launching 11 missiles. The third Orion team is focused on stunning the enemy. It includes Arachne with Mara pet patronage, Nebula with Kane pet patronage, Orion with Axel pet patronage, Faceless with Merlin pet patronage, and Polaris as the fifth hero in most cases. If you are fighting a Rufus team, Jet would be the fifth hero, as Rufus cannot be killed with magic damage. This team focuses on controlling the enemy team with stun effects, allowing Orion to launch more missiles. The last team composition consists of Aurora with Kane pet patronage, Tristan with Fenris pet patronage, Orion with Axel pet patronage, Sebastian with Albus pet patronage, and Lara Croft with Vex or Mara pet patronage as the fifth hero. Sebastian can be swapped for Nebula to increase Tristan's and Orion's attacking power. This team is very interesting because it combines high magic damage with high physical damage, providing a versatile and powerful lineup. To properly develop Orion, start by focusing on his magic attack skin, as magic attack is crucial for Orion's skills. Once you have enhanced his magic attack or mechanical skin, focus on Orion's default skin, which boosts his intelligence. After these two skins, prioritize Orion's defensive stats, health, armor, and magic defense. The last skin to develop should be magic penetration because Orion's artifact, DD901 Arsenal, already provides more than enough magic penetration to the entire team. For glyphs, prioritize the magic attack glyph first, then the intelligence glyph. After that, focus on health, magic defense, and lastly, magic penetration. The logic here is the same, Orion's artifact already provides sufficient magic penetration, so it's more beneficial to focus on his weaker areas. Magic attack is crucial for maximizing the effectiveness of Orion's skills. Regarding artifacts, prioritize his first artifact, DD901 Arsenal. Orion needs this artifact at a high level to support his team with increased magic penetration. The best hero to counter Orion is Isaac. Isaac's energy bar charges quickly with every attack from Orion, as he absorbs magic damage. This allows Isaac to use his ultimate ability more frequently. Isaac is particularly effective against magic heroes, making him the ideal choice to counter Orion's attacks and neutralize his threat on the battlefield. Orion's new ascension skill makes him more powerful and opens up new synergies with heroes who can stun or slow enemies. His artifacts and skills, when combined with the right heroes and pets, can result in massive damage output. Focus on developing his magic attack and intelligence first, and use pets like Axel and Chorus for the best support. To counter Orion, Isaac is the ideal choice. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more electrifying content. Share your thoughts and team compositions in the comments below. Your feedback helps us create better guides for you. Remember, every hero has the potential for greatness. Keep experimenting with different strategies and synergies, and you'll find the perfect combination to conquer any challenge. Stay motivated and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in Hero Wars.